Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It is Wednesday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. I'm joined with by my beautiful lady, Sally, here. It is contest time. Uh, another contest entry. Uh, so many contests going on at this point in time, including my own. Uh, so come on over and, and uh, uh, submit an entry to my uh, contest, spell the word thousand, uh, showing album titles, and uh, if not thousand, show grand, and a uh, chance to win a $30 Amazon gift card, and uh, my push to a thousand subs. Um, Christian from CGC Vinyl Guy is having his push to 300 subs, and uh, he's at 233 right at the moment, so uh, he's definitely going to get there for sure. Um, great idea for a contest. Show uh, an album with three word titles. Uh, pretty cool idea. And uh, once you start looking through your discography, you'll you'll find you have a lot. And I do have a lot. Um, so the rules to his contest uh, must be a subscriber, obviously. Show at least five albums with three word titles. I'm going to show ten. Um, no greatest hits collections. No live albums. Um, no titles with that begin with the or the um and uh talk about a little bit about each album don't spend a lot of time because of time frame uh, i'll probably ramble on too much uh chance to win a 30 dollar amazon gift card the draw is going to be 31st of july uh obviously let christian know you made the uh, video so he can add you to the list and the main thing is have fun and enjoy and good luck to everyone also um Christian wants us to shout out another channel, uh, perhaps one that uh, doesn't have the same uh, subs as yourself, uh, needs our support. Everyone needs their support in the BC. And I'm going to do that right now before I start into Christian's contest. I'm going to shout out another Christian, uh, this time Christian Osario, my wonderful, wonderful friend from Chile, uh, an amazing guy. He's been super supportive of my channel. Uh, I love the guy. Um, comments on pretty much every video I do. And uh, that's amazing, amazing stuff. And uh, he's really into hard rock and heavy metal. More heavy metal, I guess. Um, and uh, shows some great, great bands and artists. He's, he's a really cool guy. So I'll be putting the link below to Christian Osario's channel. Please go over and like and subscribe. I'll leave one of wonderful comments to Christian. As he deserves our, our support and love. Uh, as far as this Christian goes... Um, let's get into the contest, um, and show some great, great albums. So right off the bat, uh, I'm going to show a Canadian band, uh, one of my favorites. Um, this is Lighthouse and One Fine Morning. I love that cover as well. It's a beautiful little cover. It's on the GRT label. Um, Lighthouse, uh, an amazing band from Toronto. Um, kind of a Chicago type of band. Uh, a lot of horns. Um, a lot of strings, but they blended into great rock and pop music. Um, they won Best Canadian Group in 72, 73, and 74 at uh, our Juno Awards, which is the Grammy equivalent. Uh, this is 1971's One Fine Morning. Includes the hit with the same title. Um, they're flying on all cylinders on this album. It's probably one of their most commercially successful ones. Uh, you got Hats Off to the Stranger, Little Kind Words, Show Me the Way. Uh, just an awesome, awesome album in one fine morning. Really beautiful. And I love that, again, that cover is beautiful. Uh, Gillen and Glover. From uh, two of my favorite artists from my favorite band. Deep Purple. Uh, this is accidentally on purpose. I don't know if you can see that. You can barely see the... Sorry, there it is. <laughs> Accidentally on purpose. Uh, yeah, amazing album. Uh, combination of rock and pop. Uh, a lot of lead... A uh, lot of uh, female backing vocals on this one, which is pretty cool. Completely different than Deep Purple's um, music, for sure. Uh, Ian Gillen plays a mean harmonica, as well as great vocalist, obviously. And uh, bassist Roger Glover. Uh, as well as keyboardist producer um does an amazing job on this one as well um telephone box reached number 15 on the charts 
Uh, Lonely Avenue was one on the soundtrack to uh, the movie Rain Man with Dustin Hoffman and uh, Tom Cruise in it. Uh, Dr. John plays on this one. And uh, again, Ian plays some mean harmonica on this one as well. Um, great, great album. Accidentally on purpose. Um, Gillen and Glover. Next, uh, I just highlighted these guys not too long ago um, in my Great Bands You Need to Listen To series. This is Kansas and their second album. Um, uh, Song for America. Sorry. <laughs> I just had a brain fart there for a second. Song for America. Uh, very progressive album. These guys can are, are just as progressive as, as, as any other great progressive bands out there. Uh, from Topeka, Kansas, um, 1975 release. You've got the title track, Song for America. Down the Road, um, Lamplight Sympathy. Uh, again, just a, an awesome progressive rock. There's the band there. That's a great progressive rock album from their second release. And of course, there's more to come with uh, Carry On, Wayward Son, and Dust in the Wind, and all those big, big hits that they had. Um, amazing guitarist in his own right, Mr. Robin Trower. This is Long Misty Days. Again, a beautiful album cover on that one as well. It's on the Chrysalis label. Um, they, he was with Profile Harem from uh, 67 to 71. Um, obviously a great rock and blues player. Uh, Long Misty Days, 1976, released their fourth uh, uh, studio album by uh, the Robin Trower Trio. Uh, you got uh, James Denver on bass and vocals and Bill Lorden on drums. And, of course, Robin Trower on uh, amazing guitars. Uh, you got Salem, Messing with the Blues, the title track, Long Misty Days, and uh, Caledonia. Uh, an amazing, amazing album. Long Misty Days. Uh, what's next? Uh, one of my favorite heavy metal bands. I really got into these guys and uh, have most of their discography now. Uh, this is Saxon, Denim and Leather. Uh, it's on the uh, Carrier label. Uh, these guys are so good. British heavy metal band formed way back in uh, 77. Uh, again, one of my favorite heavy metal bands. This is 1981 release on their fourth studio album. Um, you got, uh, and the band plays on, Never Surrender, Princess of the Night, just to name a few great tracks off of this one. Uh, such a great, great album. Uh, heavy metal at its best. Heavy British blues, uh, sorry, heavy British metal at its best. Uh, I always think this is an earlier album, but, uh, it is actually their, um, their fourth studio album. This is Super Tramp Crisis. What Crisis? Um, and, uh, I always thought it, uh, it, uh, came before Crime of the Century, but actually Crime of the Century was released, uh, uh before this one. Um, and, uh, amazing, again, another great progressive rock band from London, England, formed in way back in 1969. Uh, you got a combination of progressive rock and rock and pop rock, uh, two amazing singers, their fourth release after the hugely successful Crime of the Century. Um, you know, a lot of bands can't match that success. Um, this this band came in and uh, definitely matched that success. Um, and um, you've got Lady, no one, Nobody But Me, Sister Moonshine, The Meaning, Two of Us. Uh, just uh, amazing, amazing stuff on this one. And uh, amazing album in its own right. Then we have this one here, the wonderful brain cell with surgery uh, from Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Remarkable, remarkable stuff. Um, another fantastic, one of the pioneers of progressive uh, rock, actually, and art rock uh, with Carl Palmer on drums, uh, Greg Lake on vocals and bass guitar, Keith Emerson on keyboards. Formed way back in 1970. They've sold over 40 million albums worldwide. It's just amazing. Um, hugely successful album. <clears throat> 1973's Brain Salad Surgery. 
<clears throat> pardon me. You've got Jerusalem, uh, still you turn me on, and then the um, Carnival 9 parts uh, 1 through 3. Just remarkable, remarkable stuff. Um, next, uh, I love these guys. Great stoner, stoner rock in clutch. This is uh, Robot Hive Exodus. An amazing, amazing band in clutch. Most of their albums that I have from them are double albums, which just adds to the amazingness of this band. Um, these guys, Stoner Rock at its best. Uh, from Germantown, Maryland. Hard Rock, Stoner Rock, Blues Rock as well. Um, Robot Hive, Exodus is 2005 release. Their seventh studio album. Um, you've got so many great tracks off of this one. Um, you got uh, Burning Beard, uh, Mice and Gods, uh, Never Be Moved, Small Upsetters, um, Circus Maximus, um, 10,000 Witnesses, Gravel Road, just amazing, amazing stuff on this album by Clutch. Uh, Nazareth, I love this cover. No Mean City, look at that cover, it's just gorgeous. Great uh, Scottish rock band formed in 68. Um, combination of hard rock and um, some heavy metal, but mostly hard rock. Um, they had, of course, huge hits um, by Hair of the Dog and Love Hurts. The great cover. This is 1979's No Mean City, their 10th studio album. Uh, they added uh, uh, Zal uh, Clemenson, the guitarist uh, for from the... Um, Amazing Alex Harvey band, which added an extra element to their music, uh, gave them that harder edge. Um, and uh, you got Super Solution, Star, Whatever You Want, Babe, and uh, of course the title track, No Mean City. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. And finally, and I, you know, I could have shown so many more, but uh, I've shown this one just recently. Uh, this is Taste. And on the board, the great, great Rory Gallagher, early band, uh, formed in 1966. Uh, Rory Gallagher, of course, amazing blues player, um, singer, songwriter. On the board's 1970 release, their second studio album by Taste. I uh, got progressive blues. Um, it's just so good. What's going on? Eat my words. If I don't sing, I'll cry. I'll remember. Just a few tracks off of this one. It's on the Red Polydor label. The only thing I don't like about this one is the cover is very flimsy. Uh, so I, I'm very careful with this one. But uh, I kept the hype sticker. Also, Disney, Disney remastered. But a fantastic, fantastic album. So there you have it, guys. There's my entry into uh, Christian's um, channel and his uh, push to 300 uh, contest please all go over to christian's channel and like subscribe leave wonderful wonderful comments good luck to everyone that's entered into christian's uh, contest also go to christian osario's channel and leave a like and subscribe and leave wonderful, wonderful comments to christian osario as well uh, to give him the love and support that he needs anyway guys good luck to everyone love you all take care have a great day bye now